Stray Dog Theater's current staging of Sweeney Todd includes the first close-up I've ever seen in a play. It happens right after Todd's arch enemy, Judge Turpin, makes his first visit to the barber shop. It's upstage above Mrs. Lovett's pie shop in Rob Lippert's creative scenic design. Director Justin Bean recognized that this spatially accurate design placed a crucial scene as far as it could be from the audience, hence the close-up. After meeting on the upper level, the barber and the judge move down to the front of the stage before the shaving number begins. The relocation of the character seems odd at first, but I'm sure Pretty Woman has much more impact this way. The close-up isn't the only indication of the staging challenges Sweeney Todd poses when the movable two-story barber chair of the original production isn't practical. One way director Bean copes with the difficulties is by not confining the action to the stage. The involvement of the ensemble is very impressive, both on stage and in the aisles. Everyone deserves mention. Angela Bubash, Ted Drury, Laura Megan Devaney, Kimmy Kidd, Stephanie Merritt, Kevin O'Brien, Belinda Quimby, Benjamin Sevilla, and Scott Digitz Fries, who gets the opening ensemble off to a chilling start. Ryan Moore's costumes and Tyler Dino's lighting support the closeness of the performers to the audience. The relentless intensity of Jonathan High's demonic barber makes for a potent contrast with the exuberance of Levon Byers' broad interpretation of Mrs. Lovett. Eileen Engel as Joanna and Cole Gutman as Anthony bring the requisite wholesomeness to the young lovers. Kay Love is barely recognizable as the beggar woman as it should be. Gary Love as Judge Turpin and Mike Wells as the Beatle project their character's corruption without resorting to caricature, while Tyler Cheatham makes over the top just right for the Mountebank Pirelli. Connor Johnson radiates the innocence of Pirelli's servant Tobias. I'm glad the often omitted tooth pulling contest is included here because Pirelli's abusive Tobias lends poetic justice to Pirelli's fate. The orchestra was never too loud under music director Chris Peterson, but the amplified voices were too loud for much of Act One on opening night. The balance improved later, but I don't think microphones were needed in Sweeney Todd any more than they were in Stray Dog's production of Urinetown, which had the best sound of any musical ever presented in the Tower Grove Abbey. Yeah, that, that space does have some acoustic problems that uh, tried various ways of dealing with. But I also was quite struck by the, the use of makeup, especially for Sweeney Todd, that very pale face with the deep, dark eyes that uh, John Hay had in it. But a fine production. Let's hear some of this music. <laughs> <laughs> 